AM the Dead Altar in downtown El Paso will honor fallen soldiers and military veterans. Joining us now, Elizabeth Dudan, and to talk about the event, the El Paso Museum of Art, and how they're going to be honoring veterans. Elizabeth, thanks so much for joining us. What is the goal behind altars for our heroes, and why do you think it is so important to tell veteran stories? It's really important because it's those that we are honoring for their service, for their commitment to this country. And by honoring them, we bring them back to, um, to light to make sure that we are telling their stories and how they fought for our country and the amazing service that they've done. Well, how do you go about finding participants for the exhibit? And what are you most proud of when you look at the finished product? The way we find participants is by um, looking at our clientele and uh, we're a mental health, health agency so we pick out from our clientele and we start asking those who would like to feature their fallen um, family member, some are fathers, some are spouses, some are brothers, and if they want to participate, we also have a art therapy class that we um, facilitate, and through the art therapy class, they'll do the art designs, which this year are skulls, uh, made out of paper mache. Oh, it's so creative. So how does the Stephen A. Cohen Military Family Clinic at Endeavors make a difference for the military community here in the borderland? And of course, we want to know how can we check out the exhibit for ourselves? Absolutely. So the Stephen A. Cohen Military Family Clinic at Endeavors, we're a mental health agency that provide, again, mental awareness, mental health services, um, suicide prevention um, for our um, military active duty service members and veterans and their families. So it's really important for us to be able to get the word out there that mental health matters and that we're here to support them as much as we, ca we can. So uh, we are going to be at the El Paso Museum of Art. We have a soft opening on Wednesday, October 30th at 4.30. And we're going to be displaying our altar as well as the art that was created by the family members of our fallen soldiers. So exciting, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for joining us. Now all this you. information posted on our website at kvie.com. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Well, so